me see that. Uh, Joe Jorgensen, never heard of him, Libertarian Party. He's someone who actually wants to remove government bloat. What Republicans claim to do, which is the biggest joke of the political party in the U.S. Oh, that explains I don't really follow returns. Only oh, Gary Johnson. Yeah, I remember Gary Johnson. Asshole to the beyond mob. I apologize for the political dumpster fire. Oh, no, 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 no. This is basically, this is basically the Heinz chat. So it is perfectly welcome. I'm usually saying crazier shit than that. If you're, if you're familiar with my work, you know. So yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, perfectly, perfectly acceptable conversation. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm usually talking about 9-11, but I mean, I'm usually talking about, usually, unfortunately, uh, people just know me now, so, okay, this is one memory card. People just know me now, so, well, I wouldn't say that's unfortunate, but um, people come to me and ask me the questions on purpose, such as yourself. So, I'm constantly getting baited into talking about it. See, Husky knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, how, how, about, how about you try and convince, uh, how about you try and convince SS? No, it's seven. It's seven. You're, yeah, you're right. WTC seven. Um, it's, no, it's seven. I mean, they're all weird, but. Seven is. It's very weird. Um, yeah, how about, how about you try and convince SS that uh, WTC7 is a controlled demolition? Because I, I have yet been unsuccessful. Yeah, it's WTC7. Yeah, the buildings that, that, like, collapsed completely were... The entire compound was damaged, obviously. But it was uh, WTC1 and 2, which is the North and South Tower, and... Excuse me, WTC7, which was... Um, I, there was other names for that building on camera. The Lehman Brothers building, there was, yeah, I think was what they one of the names that a couple other... names for the building, but anyway, but yeah, that's, yeah, so my point is perfectly acceptable to talk about um, politics. My current possibilities as far as the, well, yeah, no, of, oh, yeah, of course, there, there's some design, well, okay, here we go, here we go, hang on, let me just, Thursday, this should be okay, the intro shouldn't matter, so we'll test it like this, this, this should be okay. Yeah, but it didn't need a plane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So how about yeah? I, I've I've done this enough. I've done this enough. My I'm resting my vocal cords and my noggin. But yeah, it, it's it's definitely. <clears throat> I would say I, I understand what you're saying. Um, and and it's not only not only that, but it's actually also designed to at least some of the buildings, or at least the, the two main towers, were said to be built to withstand the impact of a jetliner which is exactly what happened, oddly enough, and then they blew up. They, like, exploded. So, anyway, but that's that's neither here nor there. As far as the election goes, I'm, uh, I'm working with a couple theories. I at first thought that Trump was going to win again for sure, because, spoilers, I don't think that there is really an election. I think that it's mostly theater. Actually, I think it's completely theater. And, um... This is Friday, and um, uh, because of that, I think that the winner is more or less pre-appointed, and they just kind of play it out and give you whatever numbers they want to justify it, and so that they can, you know, create the whole psychodrama on TV, which is more or less what they do anyway. And uh, but for a long time, I thought that they would just do Trump again because he's just so useful as a, as like a political tool. Um, uh, but now, I, okay, here's here's one for you. Here's one. Fuck. Oh, I'm definitely okay. I'm definitely getting this video. I'm definitely getting this video. I got I got you guys. I got something for you guys. It blew my mind. And I'm like, I still don't know what to make of it. So I'm not making an assumption, but I want to know what other people think. Um, I, I stumbled on a video of Kamala Harris appearing on 
some like Fox News show or something like that. I can't remember what, what it was. And it does not look like Kamala Harris. And of course the video, the person who uploaded the video said, proof that Kamala Harris got plastic surgery. I don't think it's plastic surgery. I think it's just not her. Like I, I that's like my best guess is it's just not her, but it was a very, it was a very eerie video. But my guess is, uh, my, my alternative is that Kamala Harris will be selected as the VP and um, uh, Biden will win and he will die or be somehow And then, then it'll be President Kamala. Because she's, yeah, oh my god, she's awful. She's like a worse Clinton, for sure. Awful, awful, awful. I'll see if I can find that video after this run, though. Um, hopefully this works. No, 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 because she's not black. So she can't be the front runner. <laughs> Um, wait a minute, this is Saturday. Hang on, I just gotta keep track of these days. Um, no, that's, but that's exactly what, how he's been talking about it, though. And that's exactly what people have been pushing him to do. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe, okay, fair enough. Maybe you think that he'll talk about it, but he won't. Yeah, I'm not saying that I think he certainly will. I can't predict any of these things, because, like I said, I think it... I think it's... I think part of the psychodrama is creating a whole bunch of noise around it so you honestly never know what to expect or which way is up. But. Yes. Again, this is the Sunday? So, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This should be Sunday. I can't remember the other lady, um, Susan Rice was the other, um, black woman who was variously talked about recently as, um, as the, uh, the pick, but, yeah. Monday. This is one of the waifu endings, so we get to make out with Gwen at the end of this. She's she's definitely a babe. She's one of the uh, she's one of the top picks. She's kind of the she's kind of the tsundere type, but they're on, they're honestly there's probably like there's at least like two tsunderes in this. Although I know there's like subtypes of tsundere, and I don't know I don't know them all, so I'm not I'm not a fucking weeb, so I don't know. Michelle Obama, oh my god. I think it's funny how Barack Obama just kind of like quietly stepped out of everything. I mean, you don't really hear from Obama anymore. That I, I mean, he's just not in the limelight. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. Yeah, I suppose that's one way to put it. Is that because he knows he's a war criminal? Uh, what do you mean? Th uh, what do you mean throwing sneaky jabs? So if this is true, this would be proof that weather actually affects conversation gains, and that means I have to do more testing. God damn it! Uh, you know, I've read all, or I've 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 heard a lot of you know, hoopla about the Ghislaine Maxwell thing. I can't claim to have... I've heard talk about it on NPR. Unfortunately, I'm still dumb enough to listen to NPR in the fucking car. I'm not, I'm not talking shit about anybody who listens to NPR, but... Um, 
it's been a bit okay good it's been a bit tough to listen to in recent uh months simply because they're basically they basically don't shut up about the same fucking shit constantly but they were talking about just like maxwell and i don't i don't know much about the whole situation i just know kind of the the basics yeah i wouldn't be surprised do, do, do. Like Obama's John Lewis speech, Obama has been making slights at him. Oh yeah, the John Lewis. Um, he was that guy, the senator that died, or? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, okay, so I should get the cutscene now, please. As long as I don't get rain on the next time. This will be Friday. Oh shit, I should have a spreadsheet for this. Damn. Uh hang on. Okay, so she doesn't get anything for that. Okay, that's okay, I can kinda track this. Uh it's actually gonna be kinda tricky. Um, this is what day is this Friday? So, uh, okay, so I should get it after the next. Cutscene 2 is just, I think she just shows up outside your house. I don't think you have to do anything for this. I, I keep... Like, yeah. The game is kind of just about tiny uh, optimizations. Like, only leaving your house when you know that you need to. Um, so... Um, and I don't remember this ending very well. Yeah, I can't tell, like, how much... Because, okay, what's interesting to me about the whole Epstein thing is this was kind of a thing, if you remember, a few years ago, like, I want to say around 2016, I want to say around the other election, about the whole Pizzagate thing. Everybody remember Pizzagate? I remember how everyone said, oh, it's bullshit, it's not true, none of these, this is all conspiracy theory, none of these people are really pedophiles, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know... I kind of don't know what to conclude about that. I've kind of gone both ways on it, and I haven't really thought much about it in recent years, but now all of a sudden this Epstein shit is coming out, and they're not really covering it up as much, or they're at least not, like, going as hard as far as, like, ridiculing people who think that our world leaders are pedophiles or who are promoting this idea, because that's obviously the underlying implication of all of this. And it's never actually really stated super loud, loud and clear in the media. This is Sunday, I think. It's never really stated super loud and clear that the implication is these people are all pedophiles, but obviously that's like... I guess, okay, here's the one thing I will say to that SS is, you understand these people all control, you're, you're, you're kind of acting on the assumption that the media is actually some, like, independent agency that actually, like, does real investigative journalism, which they don't. They're just the propaganda arm of the government. So whatever the media, part of, my, like, what influences a lot of what I, what I think is, the media tells you what they're told to tell you. So if they're, if they're being loud about all these things, there's some reason for it. And usually it's to mislead you or misdirect you. So I don't know what that means in this case. Why would they be trying to draw attention to the fact that their world leaders are fucking pedophiles? I don't know. I couldn't begin to tell you. I'm not sure what, what really means, but... Uh, I guess so, but you, you didn't really address what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they don't report on anything that they're not told to. 
and because of the short attention span of most people, they can report on something else and just cover it up if they wanted to, if it was genuine and it was like a real, so I, I don't know. So that that's where I'm like kind of confused. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Seems like pizza gays are real. And it seems like these people are all fucked up enough to probably have sex with kids and, and, and whatever. But at the same time, it also seems like they would be, they would be, you know, reporting on anything else because motherfuckers will just they people just think about whatever there is like going on around them so the news is just noise for people to just to just fill thoughts and just fill empty space in people's heads so they'll think about whatever not just they'll not just people will think whatever you tell them to think they'll think about they'll spend their mental energy you know contemplating whatever you put in front of them Tuesday, Wednesday, this should be Wednesday, um, oh shit, it's the only problem, it shouldn't matter though, because I just, How about having Epstein, what do you mean having Epstein? I didn't miss the cuts. I don't think I did. Yeah, it's three, four, five, six. This is Wednesday, like I said, so tomorrow's Thursday. Um, okay, but I can get the raining, so I can go. No, and I know, and there, there was some <clears throat> ring of pedophilic leaders in, I can't remember what European country that was outed some years ago. And this was actually, like, apparently, I mean, it was reported on. I found, like, actual news reports of it, so can't remember where it was, but... No, it wasn't the UK, because it wasn't about... It wasn't about, like, the royal family. It was some other... Not, it wasn't an Anglophone country. I can't remember. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I've, I've heard all the fucking horror stories about the fucking, you know... The, Buckingham Palace or whatever. Long live the Queen. Um, this is Thursday. Sorry, this is just really annoying to keep track of these days. Large part of the media is complicit in spreading the propaganda of the elite. Fox News was created for the very purpose of pushing. Hang on. Friday was created for the very purpose of pushing conservative propaganda, but I think the elite also controlled the news by generating other actual events to cover, like bombings. Well, yeah. Exactly, they create the events to cover. Yeah, exactly. Like, for example, bombs in, or explosions in, uh, what was it the other day? We were talking about this SS. Um, fuck, what was it? Can't remember the country now. Z? Can't remember, drawing a blank, but yeah. Probably manufactured in some way. Not saying the explosion wasn't real, just saying Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know why I'm thinking Z. Yeah. In my opinion, as soon as I saw it, I thought, hmm, I wonder, <laughs> wonder, wonder who planted the bombs there. A bomb has been planted at the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explosion bomb. Okay, is this Friday? I should be able to tell what day it is. It's Saturday? Like... I 
I think it's Saturday. It is, it has to be Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, it doesn't have to be Saturday because... Parsley... Shit, there's actually no way to tell Wednesday from Saturday. Isn't there a way to tell Wednesday from Saturday? Even down here, I don't think there is... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it would be if um, Joe fishes. So if Joe comes here, then I, I know it's Wednesday. And I had to wait here till um, till um, 7 p.m. anyway. Okay, cool. So this is now we can chat, I guess, because I'm I have to wait for a cutscene now, and I have to wait all the way till Sunday or till not Sunday till 7 p.m. Uh, okay, what are we? Uh, it wasn't really bomb. It just absolutely retarded storage of hazardous materials. They've known it for years that it was a problem and didn't do anything. It's in plain sight of the warehouse at ground level. If you look at videos of the explosion, it blew the soil hundreds of meters up. That's how physics works. In current wait. Yeah. I I will admit I haven't watched the video, so I can't really claim to, I can't really like make any conjecture about about the nature of it really. Um, but I'll the reason why I don't watch the video is because I make the assumption that um, I just I, I don't. I make the assumption that whatever is being reported on is probably a distraction, and I just try not to, like, focus too hard on it. Obviously, it's suspicious, but I... So, like, you made the comment about Fox News, um, and, yeah, I agree that Fox News is a, is a propaganda outlet, but... Like, I've spent a lot of time watching CNN and Fox, not a lot of time, but like, I've watched the news as much as anybody else, and I've lived with my grandma at various point, my both my grandparents, at various times throughout my life. They tended to watch conservative media outlets such as Fox News, and my parents watched CNN. Um, and the older that I've gotten and the more that I've, or, or you know, especially now, it's like, I'll get YouTube clips suggested from both media outlets. So... Maybe I'll watch one or the other. I don't really watch TV anymore, and, and my grandpa, my grandma at least doesn't really watch um, the news at all anymore. But especially when my grandpa was alive, they would watch a lot of it, or it would just be on the TV. And the older I've gotten, the less of a dis difference I see between them. I see I, they are almost indistinguishable from each other to me, in, in my opinion. And that I find... Uh, kind of curious simply because of the fact that it is presented as an otherwise like very it's Saturday okay it's good to know because okay Lewis Lewis is the other way that you can tell it's Saturday okay what do you wait what do you mean by that so are you telling me that like Anderson Cooper is just like a, a, a like a covert conservative, and let's let's just make the assumption that the words liberal and conservative actually mean what we think they mean, because I'm not really convinced of that anymore either. I, I don't really I don't really know what to make of that what um, what to make of the labels, but to the extent that they that they um, I don't know that they just label two sides of this whatever this spectrum is that we're looking at. I actually don't think it's a spectrum anymore. If it ever, if I ever thought that, I'm not really sure. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm. Um, what do you mean? Uh, I guess I'm not informed enough about Roger Ailes. But um, but yeah, I, I guess I yeah I'm curious by that about that about that take then because I don't I don't see how. Um, I see them as kind of pushing division from different angles, but it's ultimately the same. I, I try and focus on what they agree about. And they agree on a whole lot of things, and usually those things are lies too, because they're paid to lie. They're, they're both propaganda outlets. So, yeah, it is just sort of weird. But yeah, I, I've, I actually, in some ways, I find... Um, 
liberal media, so-called liberal media, less tolerable, only because a lot of times they do a lot of crying over, like, bullshit, like, just divisive issues, just dividing you usually along race, gender, and sexual orientation. And they then they just, like, constantly hammer that. And so I find that a little bit harder to just listen to passively. I don't watch any of it, but I just I just find it a little bit harder to. Um, whereas with like conservative outlets, um, to me they're speaking in a lot of common sense about certain things. But of course, it depends on the anchor. I mean, like Tucker Carlson, for example, I find him sort of intolerable in a lot of ways. But that doesn't mean that I don't think that he says some common sense things sometimes. Um, okay, that was Saturday, so I should be back at the house. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, this is actually going decently well. Sunday. Yeah, he's cancer, dude. He's fucking, he's definitely cancer, but I don't know. But he does, I mean, I try and give credit where credit is due. You know, he, the, the conservative, I, I actually, I mean, to be fair, the the conservative media outlets have gained a lot of traction among young people more than you would think because even though young people are seen as primarily liberal or whatever you you want to think of them as i'm not sure if liberal is the right word um but they identify with a lot of stereotypically liberal causes um some of those causes are completely crazy. Oh, no, no, I'm sure he did used to work for MSNBC. And that's not, that's not a, um, that's not uncommon. You see a lot of, uh, it, um, you see a lot of trading between liberal and conservative media outlets over the past couple decades. Um, so they're all kind of cut from the same cloth is more or less what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, Monday... Okay, it's 15. I should have only three more. Yeah, okay, this is basically, this run's basically over. Awesome. Okay, this is, I'm probably not going to do another run of this. This wasn't, like, the cleanest. I think I made a, might have made one mistake, but it, it cost me almost no time. Um, anyway, um, I think that conservative media outlets have actually gained a lot of traction. Tell me I didn't just fuck that up. What day is this? I think this is Monday. It is Monday, because that was rainy Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Because some of the liberal causes now are just completely crazy. And it's like, okay, you know, boys can be girls and girls can be... Like, kind of the transgender stuff that I think a lot of people think is kind of crazy because it sort of is. Um, you know, I don't want to be... I don't want to, you know, tell people how to live their lives. But there are certain fundamental, like, sort of foundations of some of that those ways of thinking that are kind of... Um, there's at least some dispute to be had and i think the liberal perspective on those can tend to be sort of haughty and holier than thou about um you know how right righteous they are kind of tuesday wednesday and anyway so because of that i think that some young people who rightfully see that as kind of insane turn to conservative media and so that's where you get kind of the outgrowth, the kind of the, honestly, the explosion of people like Ben Shapiro, um, I'm trying to think of some others, um, like Joe Rogan is kind of one of those, and I'll be honest, the, the algorithm clearly, uh, thinks that, that, um, I'm a Rogan guy. Um, I, I get, you know, I get those types of recommendations. I'm in that, in that camp, kind of. Now, I don't watch Joe Rogan, because I have my own issues with him, but, um, it's not just, like, tone. It actually is, it's not about policy, either, because, ultimately, they all kind of promote the same policies. The, you have to look at the things that they don't disagree on. The things that they never disagree on, pretty much, are matters of war and science. And we could talk about science. I don't really want to like get super um, like intense about it because that's kind of like what me and SS debate about most of the time and what we were talking about a lot tonight as well. Um, 
and that's basically they're trying to they're both trying to push government intervention in your life as much as possible from just two different vantage points and they definitely don't disagree about the war so um even though you have like bernie out here saying like oh we got we can't we gotta stop fighting these wars it's funny because we are still fighting them you know and i you know that's great okay that should be the last one you can hit me up on discord if you want um i i do have a discord uh, i should have discord linked in my in my uh on my channel but i don't um but if you i mean if you want you, you're, you're welcome to hit me up on on discord I, I have a lot of like crazier thoughts than most of what i'm sharing right now um it's just that it's like pretty it's like kind of extensive uh you know it goes, it goes pretty far uh yeah that's a very good point husky and that's that's exactly what you should you should really ask yourself you should really scratch your head because that's um yeah. The key to it, at least initially, is we're not trying to accomplish what they say that we're trying to accomplish. So, um, you know, whether it's protecting us from terrorism or spreading democracy or whatever it's been, um, it's just costing you money, costing American lives, and um, it's war without end. So we've been, and that's, that's like, yeah, that's like, in some sense, I see a lot of the last 20 years as just a massive distraction away from the fact that we've all, we've been fighting wars since all of us. I mean, I don't know how old you are, Husky, but me and, me and Hellrain are, you know, approximately 28, 29 years old, maybe almost 30, you know, pushing 30 at least. Um, and, um. We've been in the Middle East since basically since we were born. So and it's and it's like okay, 9/11 happened, so that was like 20 years ago. We've been fighting that war since then. However, we were really in the Middle East before that. Um, since uh, I'm trying to think, what's it called? The Gulf War, right? Am I am I wrong? I'm pretty sure that was a Middle Eastern conflict. Anyway, <gasps> or Operation Desert Storm, whatever it is, right? The night in the 90s, right? And a lot of people that doesn't really get talked about, but it's been this prolonged military conflict for pushing 30 years. Well, maybe it made sense the way that it was presented. I don't know enough about Kuwait, I can't say. But yeah, exactly, since yeah, since we were about, I was nine when, well, no, probably not, probably not since you were 10. Cause we went into Iraq, well, wait a minute, when, when was, I don't remember when the WMD thing was. I think that was like 04. So you might've been a bit older. Um. Because we went into Afghanistan at first. At first it was just, oh, we got to kill. we got to beat uh, Al-Qaeda. And that was like 2001, 2002, 2003. And remember, we didn't kill Osama. Oh, uh, wait. Did I just lose power? Lights just went out. Actually, wait a minute. Nope. Okay, that must just be the light bulb. Damn it, dude. The light bulb. Rip. But I thought that we didn't go into Iraq until the whole WMD controversy, which wasn't until a little bit later. But in any case, you're right. It, to me, it's basically all the same. We've just been, it's been one country after another, and it's basically been like seven Middle Eastern countries. Now, I would encourage anybody who wants to understand this is what me and SS were basically disputing right before you guys showed up. Maybe Husky was listening to this a little bit. 9-11 is 100% a conspiracy, and... I use the word conspiracy kind of ironically. I know that's the word that gets thrown around, but that is actually the accurate term. Well, the wool was pulled over everyone's eyes. Um, war was waged based on lies, and um, the buildings were blown up. And it was a staged terrorist attack with foreknowledge in which the parties pointed the finger at somebody else, and they blew up their own buildings, sorry to say. So... You know, you don't have to go down every last rabbit hole, and that doesn't necessarily... But that's, I think that's one just for people to understand, because it gives you an idea of the fact that that kind of narrative, that kind of overarching, cohesive narrative... Okay, hang on. Is... Hang on. Is something that Democrats and uh, Republicans don't disagree about. 
And they both insisted very, very vehemently and consistently on those same issues. So you got to look at what's actually bipartisan. It's not the things that you would like it to be, like actually looking out for people, taking care of the country, taking care of people at home. That's never a bipartisan issue. They always have to quibble about that. But they can always agree about the not only the wars themselves, but actually about what the kind of the the events, the impetus behind the war. Well, of course it did. That was the point. That was why the event was staged. Oh, let me read my notes here. I could do K contest too, because I just took Kratom. You guys gotta get into Kratom. Kratom is just the best. <laughs> it's like, quit smoking weed like a while ago now. Although, I mean, I smoke weed, but, but Kratom is just... Well, if, if by staged... Okay, maybe you're maybe, maybe when I say staged, you're reading, like, fake, like, didn't actually happen. It, was, it obviously happened. The buildings were blown up. Dude, your brother knows what's up, because Kratom, yeah, Kratom is the best, honestly. I love Kratom. I got my brother, my brother got me into Kratom maybe three years ago, and it's, it just completely the best. Um, anyway, yeah, so, so I don't mean it's staged like it's, um, like it was all CGI. I just mean it was, it was set up. Um, no, that's true. Actually, it's funny. I, uh, I have never puked from Kratom. Although, early on, when I started taking it... Hang on, do I just sleep seven days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really surprised this isn't sub-40. Um... Yeah, I've never puked, but when I first started taking it, I did not understand, like, how the dosage worked, and it has a weird, it's definitely, if you hear the way people d describe it, it's basically a stimulant, kind of at lower doses, very mild stimulant uh, at lower doses, and more of a sedative at higher doses, and it, that boundary is, like, narrower than you think, and especially if you don't, like, know your own dosage, because obviously different people are different. Um, then you can very easily end up transgressing that, that boundary and you don't get the effect that you were looking for. Because most people aren't really taking it for the sedative effect. Um, you can take it to sleep, but I mean, it's not going to keep you awake. It's not that type of stimulant, but it is stimulating in that way. Anyway, so I got definitely got the spins one time, a couple times early on when I was taking it. But that's also because I was smoking weed with it. And that was, to me, nowadays I just think of that as a waste of time because it just, it just dulls the... The, um, entire experience, um, and Kratom's great, um, but, uh, yeah, I had a, I had a friend, a, a girl that I, uh, that I gave some Kratom, and I gave her, like, I swear, like, two grams or less, and she actually puked, <laughs> it was like, I felt really bad, but she asked for it, so I was like, I'm always trying to get people into Kratom. Yeah, it, you guys are... It is 3.30. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. How is Weed Schedule 1? Um, it won't be for very much longer. But, I mean, it's just... it's just All it speaks to is that the laws are what suits the government. And then they come up with the reason, the rationale behind that after the fact. So, I don't know all the reasons why it suited them to make it Schedule 1 at the time. But it did, and so then they came up with their reasoning, and we've all heard the reasoning. The reasoning is, it's fucking dangerous, it's highly addictive, it's a gateway drug, it's deadly, or, or all these things, whatever it would be. All, none of those things are true, but it suited them at the time to, I don't know, use it to make a lot of, 
Yeah, pro probably that, but also, uh, I think they made a shit-ass ton of money. Now, I think they can make a lot of money now by legalizing it, and they will. But I don't know what state you live in, but uh, I'm a Michigander, and um, it's, um, it's, um, well, yeah, he may have, he may have pushed it in that direction, but that's also kind of what I'm getting at when I talk about um, the government and kind of the false pretenses is it's never the president that did it. The president is, in some sense, just the face of whatever um, cadre of people want certain policies or want to push the country in a certain way or use people and use the population, especially their tax dollars, in a certain way. So, yeah, but you could say certainly the, the Reagan or the Nixon administration did those things. But it's not clear to me who really was behind it or what their reasons might have been. Probably a lot of reasons. Um, now, we also know that the CIA flooded a lot of areas of the country, especially poorer areas of the country, with hard drugs. And they've been involved in, in uh, that kind of trafficking um, behind the scenes for a while. Meanwhile, they're telling everybody how bad drugs are for you. Okay, well... But you're the ones getting people addicted to drugs. And of course, you know, uh, some of those drugs are very powerful and curiosity can kill the cat. You just, you know, have enough, have, have the interest to try the drug once. And, and some of these drugs, obviously, no matter what D.A.R.E. told you or how stupid D.A.R.E. might be, um, you know, some of the drugs are very addictive and very deadly. I've watched a lot of very interesting interviews with ex-heroin addicts and it, some of them are very sad stories and in some sense the opioid crisis now has been completely manufactured because the chemists and pharmacists who develop these opiate drugs because mostly all these heroin addicts start off on prescription drugs but they know how powerful and how dangerously addictive the drugs are but they they over prescribe them anyway or at least they instruct doctors to prescribe them in, in a certain way um, I don't know exactly how much the doctors know about like how how this is happening or why they're why they're insisting on or or why they're doing what otherwise on the outside looks like a big mistake like prescribing a lot of these drugs but they also do what the pharmacies or what the you know drug companies tell them a lot of times um, or they just don't ask questions so. Anyway, so that's this whole weird thing. So, but yeah, with, with weed, they'll definitely, they'll legalize it. It's, well, yeah, sorry, what I was going to say is it's already legal recreationally in Michigan. And I think it's legal recreationally in, I don't know how many states, but quite a few, like definitely like 15 or 20. Yeah, but it, they've been around for a while, and the crisis, yeah, the crisis has been ongoing, and um, you also wonder where all the black tar heroin comes from. I guess that would be my next question. Is okay if the CIA admits that they, uh, you know, flooded poor areas with crack cocaine, and we're just gonna this is a PB, so hi YouTube, gotta love it. Gwen. So cute. 